What's up everybody, welcome to Today I Work On, and today I want to talk about something that's been driving me crazy recently, going into a lot of houses that have steam showers, it's the ceiling. The ceiling, they're not pitched, they're flat, and when you have a certain size ceiling, this is a 5x4 shower, I did put a Mr. Steam unit in here, I sloped the ceiling, so you should have, for every foot of ceiling, you should have between a half inch and two inches of slope. A flat ceiling is no good because why? Why is it no good? Because the water, when the steam accumulates, steam rises, right? Once it hits the top of the ceiling, it will drip on your head instead of rolling off onto the back wall. So today's episode is I'm gonna tile the ceiling in my master and I did have an oops. I initially tiled this like what, a year or two ago and I was lazy and that tile actually fell on me. I did big tile on the ceiling and I'm gonna switch that up now. I actually didn't like it too much and I'm gonna do more of a mosaic. So let me get into it. And I wanna go over my slope. If you see the slope, I have about five eighths of an inch per foot. And then I also have a bulkhead. The bulkhead is super important because it, it creates a, a buffer between both rooms and I think it looks better than having glass all the way through the ceiling and how do you finish a sloped ceiling if you don't have the bulkhead so this is the proper way I've done a ton of research on this over the years I've installed a few steam showers and this is the proper way to do it if you go and your contractor is doing a flat ceiling in your shower uh you have a problem so because you're gonna have that water dripping on your head. So right now, I just wanted to give you the visual on how it should look, and now we're gonna tile it all up. So let's uh, start working on that. All right, so this is the tile I'm doing. It's a mosaic of 12 by 12. I'm using all set mortar, and it sticks really well. I stuck that up there. That sticks really well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna mortar the ceiling like I'm doing a floor. And then I'm also gonna put a scratch coat on the back of this tile. And I don't, what I'm going with, I'm going with one quarter inch by one quarter inch by one quarter inch on the actual ceiling. And then I'm gonna use the 3 16 and put a scratch coat on the back of this so we get a good stick. So let's see what happens. Um, I'll test fit the first mosaic and we'll see how it sticks. ceiling first you put it on the actual tool yes I always forget to do that and then I realize just I you know I really don't tile many ceilings and then when you put on the water it goes on way easier and it doesn't spill so that's if you take anything out of this video when you're doing uh, ceilings Take that tip because you'll have a way less messy install. So there you go. Continuing on, almost. I'm doing pretty well. I'm almost done. Tile is up. It looks really good. And now I'm gonna have to wait to uh, grout it because it has to dry. And I also still have to clean out the uh, the grout line. So that's sometimes of the mosaics. Uh, you know, usually I don't have to clean them out. I'm pretty clean with my mortar lines, but because it was on the ceiling, I added a little bit of extra mortar on there, but it looks really, really good. My wife is going to be so happy that I did this. So let me, uh, so that's it for now. I'll, uh, I'm going to let it dry up and then um, we will grout it tomorrow. All right, next up we're gonna grout. So I, I don't think I have enough grout. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make all of this grout up, and uh, 
Oh, you know what? It might be enough. I don't know. Well, mm, I don't think it's going to be enough. All right, so the reason why I'm putting... Usually I put water and then I put the grout in, but I don't want to uh, make the grout too loose. And then I'm screwed, so let me let me get my paddle mixer. Alright, we're gonna let this set up for about five minutes per the instructions and the grout that I'm using, the Maypee Ultra Color Plus, it, it's the uh, this is like the new grout. It's not like a sanded or unsanded. It's pretty awesome because it doesn't stain. So it's a polymer setup basically, and it just doesn't, it doesn't stain. I've had my floor down for almost two years and it has not stained at all, which is really impressive. So uh, we'll put that on the ceiling and let's wait for it to set up. All right, it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna give this another whirl. basically done and now we're going to uh throw the grout up so let's uh let's start working on that all right well i can't find my hat but wear a hat if you need one and what you do is you put the mortar i mean i'm sorry you put the grout onto the float and then you're still gonna get you're gonna get destroyed with, with grout i mean this is this is a messy job Ugh. So that's, that's how you do it basically. So remember with this grout, with the polymer grout, it needs to set up. You do not want to, um, you don't want to wipe off this grout right away. Once it starts hazing a little bit on one of the grout, one like on the actual tile here, wait a little bit longer and then you start wiping it down because if you wipe it down too early, you're gonna pull all the grout out which is something you don't want to do. So let me let me finish this up and then I'll uh, we'll, we'll start wiping it down in a little bit. trip to the uh, towel supply I have very little bit left which is perfect so even though it's been about even though it's been about 10 minutes I'm still gonna wait for this to dry a little bit more because it's still a little too soft to take off so we'll wait five more minutes and then I'll see if it's ready to go and then once it's uh, ready to be cleaned off we'll start banging it out and uh We'll start cleaning it up. All right, it's, it's been about another five minutes and you see it's starting to get, a, it's starting to set up a little bit. I It feels like, and I'm gonna, when it gets to this point, I start wiping it off lightly. Just lightly, nothing crazy. Just to get the excess off and then I wait a little bit more. And make sure you clean up your, your grout float because once this starts, stuff starts setting up, this uh, polymer grout, it just becomes rock solid. So I'm just gonna do a light, you yeah, know, that's all. Just a light clean right now, nothing crazy. And it makes cleanup way easier, so. All right, let me, uh, I'm gonna work on this, I'll time lapse this, and then uh, we'll recap this uh, ceiling. Cut out the light so it did 
now my shower is a disaster so it's a little foggy but anyway uh we're basically done here i'm gonna hit the ceiling with a microfiber towel and then i'm just gonna put caulk around all the edges i, I like a, a grout caulk around all the corners i think it looks cleaner uh you could use both the acrylic style it's siliconized but it's not truly silicone or you could use silicone you have to be really careful using it usually tape it or if you're really good at fingering <laughs> Uh, you could finger it or you use a you could use a fingering tool. There's a lot of different ways people do it I've never really found a Solid way to do it because every application is different and the only time I put silicone is when you have glass I put it on the corners of the saddle or anywhere the glass meets An area of tile or whatever I put silicone uh, in the corners. I just put cloth. But anyway, I think that's it for this video uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something about how a ceiling should be properly installed when it comes to a steam shower. Remember, if your contractor's doing it flat, ask him why, and then show him this video. And he's probably not going to like me, but you'll like me because you're not going to have water tripping on your head when you're taking your steam shower. So again, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please like them. Um, if you like all my home improvement videos, and I'll always have more videos coming, please subscribe. So again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.